What's up, everybody? Welcome to the video. It's Fruit by the Six Foot Five. In today's video, we're talking about how the music that you listen to is controlling shit that you do unconsciously. Some of it is conscious. Some of it is very unconscious. It's more unconscious than conscious. Trust me. This is why. Let's get into it. All right, man. I'm 26 years old and probably done way more music, been involved in the music industry than anybody watching this video right now because I don't have a whole lot of subscribers. Um, I'm an artist myself, SoundCloud, backslash Slim Coop. I'm on YouTube too, all the stuff, man. So the here's the thing with music, all right? When I look back at my high school years, right? So you look back, high school, everything's like, oh man, everything's hip, you're trying to be with the scene, at least I was. Most of us are caught up, we don't know who we are yet. So we look for approval from other people and those around us. And this causes us to do things and act certain ways that we wouldn't otherwise do or act, you know what I'm saying? People are listening to this kind of music and you want to be cool with those people, you're going to listen to that music too. So I'm not saying it's bad. It's just a matter of fact. It's how it is in high school. So I uh, got heavily influenced by the hip hop scene, which in turn led me to be a hip hop artist. That's later on. That's beside this. That's a whole nother vlog. But so I was listening to this music, right? The main artist of my generation that we were growing up in high school was Lil Wayne. It was probably the same for whoever watching this, honestly. Lil Wayne was literally the king. There isn't anybody right now. Drake does compare, but he doesn't even compare because Lil Wayne made Drake. You know what I'm saying? So, it doesn't... Like, nobody compares to Wayne, period. He was the king. So, anything Wayne was rapping about or Wayne was saying, anything he was dropping, we were on it. Let's get further into why this shit subconsciously controls you. Wayne, what does he talk about? The famous song, Pussy Money Weed. Those are the only things Wayne's lyrics are about, period. And his beats, the beats are so hard. The, what people don't understand is the beat of what you're listening to, the overall sound of it, that is what captures you at first, okay? And then the lyrics are what tune into your subconscious mind. So the sound of it, and you could disagree with me, but you're fucking wrong. <laughs> because sounds are the initial vibrations, you know what I'm saying? And they play upon the emotions and the trigger points in your brain to get you to listen. So the sound gets you to listen first. The beat, it's like, oh, this beat's hard as fuck. And then it's like, okay, what is this fool saying? Nine times out of ten, motherfuckers don't even care about what the person is saying because the beat is hard and the beat is making you feel a certain type of way, okay? So first of all, you need to realize that when you're feeling a certain type of way, when you're listening to your favorite song or whatnot, that's okay, but it's because of the beat, okay? So you're feeling this certain type of way and unconsciously the lyrics are playing in the background, okay? They're playing in the background of your head, but you're not really listening to them, but your brain is soaking them in, all right? So when you hear these beats, and it's all hard as fuck, man, This you're riding with your homies, you're smoking up, and you're boxing the whip on an off period or after school, you know what I'm saying, trying to evade the police and shit in your suburban towns or whatever. Uh, you ain't got any real problems or anything. You put right in the beat. The lyrics are subconsciously being pounded into your brain. Pounded. So when you get home, what you think about? Think about pussy. And you go on to the porn website and you jack it, right? All these motherfuckers are. Because guess what? You're probably too scared to talk to girls. And what are the girls thinking about when they get home? Mm, they're thinking about getting dicked. Mm-hmm. That's all they're thinking about because these lyrics are in their freaking head about dudes smashing and then having their homies smash and the girls think it's okay. They're like, oh, well, I could go out and just give myself up, give my vagina up. I'm 16 years old. <laughs> 
that's this is what the shit does and it took me so I, it took me to till like 24 years old and then i looked back at my life and i was like oh my god all i wanted to do was fuck women i didn't know drink alcohol to feel really good and then get even more vibey with the music that i was listening to it all comes around full circle and smoke weed because all the lyrics say are smoke weed get fucked up sip syrup and fuck pussy and don't call her back and then uh make her buy the plan b pill and and go raw don't use a condom like that's a whole nother vlog too but so it subconsciously controls you and this is why because the vibrations of the sound people don't understand everything in the universe is a vibration so the people making this music and the record labels know exactly what the fuck is going on. And there's a reason why, why the fuck do you think no one talks about bettering your life and getting to where you need to be in life and like taking steps and uh, getting off addiction and off drugs and off all that stuff. Why would they do that? Because they want you to be fucking controlled and hammered down and they want you to fuck and they want you to release your soul. They, they don't want you to retain yourself and be you. They want to control you. I'm not saying it's fucking, I'm not, you, dude, you could disagree with me. I'm not on some conspiracy bullshit. You could disagree with me, but you're wrong. Let's get into it further. It's just like the vibrations, y'all. I know more than anybody. I produce my own fucking music. Even the artists that are in their basement making the music that get popping or whatever and then they get signed, before they even get signed and get controlled by the record labels, they're making this music. And what are, you, what are they making? They're making music about pussy, money, and weed because they know that that's what people listen to. They're not going to rap about, oh, let's go... You know, let's go uh, better our lives. Let's go on a vegan diet. Let's go da 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 da. Nah, what the fuck? They're about, oh, I'm about to load the clip and roll this blunt, and then we're gonna mow down your fucking da 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 da. And then we're gonna leave, and then I'm gonna smash this bitch, and then we're gonna sell a brick, and then da da da. Because that sounds cool, and it's already integrated. And it goes back to like hip hop and the way people live in general. If you're rapping about your life, that's real as fuck. Like, but there's a difference between that shit. And the Nipsey Hustles out there who are rapping about that shit and stating the detrimental damages that it does and like the Tupacs out there and then stating to where you want to get to be. How many Nipsey Hustles are there out there? Not a lot, dog. And there's more conscious rappers coming out, but bro, you know what I'm saying? So it's the vibrations. It controls you. Next time you listen to a song, listen to the lyrics and then pay attention to the mood that you're in during the day or what you're thinking about because you're probably thinking about tits ass getting fucked getting fucked up to release all the stress and all the stuff from like the weekday and work and whatnot and you probably rolling blunts and you probably escaping reality motherfucker so face reality fuck that shit and if you really have to Stop listening to music. I don't listen to music anymore. I listen to podcasts. Why? Because it's a better use of my time. Um, music is zero use of my time. Podcasts are literally 100% of my time because positive 100% of my time because they teach you something of value. Music doesn't do shit but talk about pussy, money, weed, and aka the hip hop industry and the rock industry, all of it, it's all the same. So you feel some type of way because the vibrations of the initial beat, the instrumental are playing and it's like, oh shit, I fuck with this shit. And then the motherfucker has flow and it doesn't matter what they're saying. You're gonna listen to it. But the flow and the lyrics are getting pounded into your brain. And that's why you feel a certain type of way you do. And that's why you act in a certain type of way you act. And especially all my people in high school, middle school now too. I'm sure the generation is crazy now. And I'm sure it's even stretched into elementary school. That shit was not the same when I was growing up. And I can only imagine the shit that's going on right now in 2020, 2019 right now, but it's 2020 pretty much. Shit's getting real, y'all. So yeah, that's why music unconsciously controls you. I hope this made sense. I'll go deeper into it if I need to. But 
pay attention to what you're listening to and then pay attention to how you feel pay attention to what you want to be doing with your life because chances are it has a lot to do with the music you're listening to all right y'all peace